Hello and welcome back. For this video, we'll be talking about literal equations, but there will not be any factoring involved in this one. We'll do that in the next video. Literal equations, what we mean is the rewriting of an equation for a specific variable. Sometimes we use formulas uh, when we're demonstrating this. However, any equation can be used, and the focus this year is not to focus on formulas, but just any old equation that's out there. And we are going to use the multi-step process to isolate the variable of interest. So if you see an example like this where it says solve for x, what we're trying to do is use our multi-step process to get x by itself. So a times x plus b equals c. Here's that same problem. What we're going to do first is get rid of anything that does not have an x in it to the other side. So we can see that b has no x. So we're going to minus b uh, from both sides. And I can make a zero out of these b's, and I can bring my ax down and bring my equal sign down. But since I can't actually subtract c and b, all I can do is express it as c minus b. So I just did a minus b on both sides. Now on the other side, a is multiplying with x. So to undo that, I'm going to divide by a on both sides. And a divided by a is 1, and 1 times x is just x. And that's just going to equal c minus b all over a. Again, we're going to solve for x. So anything that does not have an x in it, this has an x here, is going to go to the other side first. So I've got to get rid of this a by minusing a from both sides. That will become a 0. And that is a negative b x left over. And I have c minus a. And the b is affecting the x by multiplying, but it is a negative. So I'm going to multiply or divide by negative b on both sides. And the negative and the b will cancel each other out to a 1, and 1 times x is just x. And on the other side, I have a negative a and a negative b on the bottom. Again, we're going to solve for x. And you'll see there's actually a whole series of numbers next to x. However, this part does not have an x, so I want to get rid of that first. So I'm going to move that to the other side by adding an ac. So on the other side, I have an h plus ac. I'm adding that to both sides, plus ac. And I still have a 1 half b c x. And I do want to get rid of everything that's attached to the x. And you can see that's all one big term. And normally, you can get rid of all the factors of a single term at the same time. However, my suggestion is anytime you have a fraction involved, get rid of the fraction first, and then come back and get rid of the b c. So I'm going to go ahead and times both sides by 2 times by 2. And of course, on this right-hand side, the 2's cancel each other out, leaving a b, c, and an x. And over here, I'm going to go ahead and just distribute that. That will give me a 2h plus 2ac. Now, it's at this point, I'm going to go ahead and divide by a b, c all at once. Divide by a b, c on this side all at once. The b and the c will cancel each other out, and that will leave you with x equaling to 2h plus 2ac over bc. Solve for base 1. Base 1 is inside the parentheses, so I'm going to have to undo that last. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of this 1 half. So I'm going to times by 2, times by 2. So I have 2a is equal to the height times base 1 plus base 2. Next thing I want to do is get rid of the h. So I'm going to divide both sides by h because it's multiplying by h. So divide by h. And that will give me 2a over h is equal to base 1 plus base 2. And remember, I'm solving for base 1. So I need to get rid of base 2 by subtracting. So I'm going to minus base 2. But over here, I'm going to bump this over 2a over h and then put my minus base sub 2. And this over here should actually be a sub 2. And bring down my equal sign, and base 1 comes down because this becomes a 0. So this right here is my entire expression equal to base 1. If you see something that says write y as a function of x, or write one thing as a function of another, what that's really saying is solve for y. So get y. So get y by itself. Well, anything that doesn't have y, we need to get out of there first. So I'm going to minus 3x on both sides. So I have a 2y is equal to 8 minus 3x. And then I need to go ahead and divide by 2 on both sides. So divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. 
I could divide the whole thing out, but I am going to simplify this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. This becomes a 1. That's a y. 8 over 2 is 4 minus 3 halves x. Now I could leave it like that, but in standard form we like to have our variables up front. So I'm going to take that one, that negative 3 over 2x, and put it in front. And of course this was a positive to begin with, so I have to connect that with a plus. So you could have left it like this, but it's better written like that. Again, we're going to write w as a function of n. So what that means is solve for w, because you see w right here was written first. So get rid of anything that doesn't have a w. So 4w is going to equal 12 plus 2n. And then we're going to divide by 4, divide by 4, and divide by 4. So we have w equal to 3 plus, and then reduce this fraction to 1 half n. And you could technically leave it like it is, but I'm going to take this and move it up front so that w will equal 1 half n plus 3. So it's more in standard form-like, where we have the n's up front.